Hi, I'm Alicia Torregrosa. I work in the Menlo Park, California office of the USGS Western Geographic Science Center, and I'm a physical scientist. So people ask me, why do you study coastal fog? And fog events have water. And in very arid, parched places like California, water is a big deal. If we can pull some of this water out of the air in the summers, we could really make a difference for wildlife and other needs. We're working with many partners to understand efficiency of different materials, such as this 3D plastic mesh that helps collect the fog droplets and another company that is coating this with a nano material that makes it more slippery and the fog droplets will drip faster and not evaporate. This is helping us understand how much water there is in different fog events and also what different kinds of fog droplets are there. Fog research requires a lot of innovations. Fog droplets are so small that we need instruments that can look at these very, very um, uh, microphysical properties. And it's a, an area of huge innovation because we've got huge amounts of data that require a lot of different statistical and big data manipulations. And then there's also the relationships that we need to bring together ocean data because the sea sprays that create the aerosols that the coastal fog droplets are going to aggregate around are interacting with land, are interacting with biological entities, planktons, microbes, bacteria. So there's a lot of innovations both in our thinking, in the instruments that we need to use, and also in the partnerships that we have to create in order to be able to understand the system that is making 